Well, good afternoon, friends. Uh, a little quick one. I have a uh, pickup to do. So I've been getting a few scrappy items, but not filming it because I'm an idiot. Anyway, I got one for your entertainment, and sorry about my loud speaker. I mean, muffler. It's my tailpipe. Uh, ended up with a hole in it. So I picked one up today. Somebody threw one out. I would turn around with my camera right now and show it to you, but I don't trust myself. Or do I? Nah, I can't reach back there right now. But we're almost at the place. It's uh, one of my neighbors in the back of my house. Not yet on this road, actually. So I live on a little dirt road off of this one. And she lives right behind me, kind of. And uh, that's where we're picking up a dryer that her and her son-in-law kind of dumped in the driveway. Um, can I pass? I think I can. All right, thank you, guy. Anyway, I don't know where he's going, but I know where I'm going. That's the main thing, right, folks? You gotta know where you're going. If not, you hold up traffic and you get people pissed off. I just hope I don't get caught out here, even though I'm way out in the middle of nowhere. Because just holding my phone is like a three or four hundred dollar fine. You don't have to be on the phone, just the fact of holding it. Because they think they're texting or some shit. Which I'm perfectly able to drive and do this. See, that was my street right over there. Now, uh, I can see the back of my house from here. It's that one over there with the big camper. Anyway, now we're going over here. Right here where the car is and that uh, temple thing. So I'm going to back right up to this. See, it's right there.
that's close enough. Now let's take that thing down. Unload it, I mean. So that's one more for my collection. Alright, here's a dryer I just picked up, and uh, over here I got a, another dryer and a washer. Here he is. I'm hiding them so I don't get complaints from the neighbors. As, uh, I'm going to need the tin that's around them, you know, that's going around like this. I don't know about this, maybe. Anyway, it'll end up being painted. Because this trailer here, I got a cap from a Ford pickup, this trailer here. I was showing the ground. Sorry about that. Okay, I need to take my glove off to bring it back down a bit. All right, so I'm going to build up the sides of this thing and the front and put that cap on top. So it'll be a closed-in trailer. It'll look welfare, of course, but... I don't really give a shit. So here it is. They got all their cords and things. Lots of wire to get out of there. So that'll be fun. Keep me busy for a while. Now, before I start putting all this away, where did I put that uh, tailpipe? Oh, that stupid TV fell over again. I picked this up the other day. Oh, there's a pipe. Anyway. That'll be good for the van. There. Now stay. I got cans and bottles for my daughter. And this shit really melted a lot. And I got that dryer over there. That too I'm going to take the tin from around it. Because so I'm going to need that. Like I said for that stupid trailer over there. But that don't end there. I don't know if I mentioned it in one of my other videos, but I bought me another trailer. Because I volunteer at the food bank, and uh, they wanted me to use that trailer, but I'm not quite done welding, you know, the uh, axles where the wheels are. So I got to do that. It's pretty cold out. It's going down to, like... Uh, I don't know, it's like minus 10 going down tonight. Yeah, so here's that little trailer. And it's a dumping trailer. It's got the thing there, but 
the people went and welded it, but they welded it. So I'm gonna unweld it and take the grinder to it. And this is that stupid thing I picked up. It weighs a ton. It was off of a 150 Ford. <coughs> so it it's kind of going inwards like this instead of out. So it's not aerodynamic at all. And uh, the the back window opens and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do something to put that on. And this guy here, I'll build the sides up and uh, use it as a dumper as it was intended to be. And then this thing I need to fix my stupid uh, problem with no fuel. But I ordered the thing online for testing the, um, the relays. I don't know how good it's going to be. Because I have no way of knowing. And I don't want to have a garage come and tow it just to see. You know, and they're not going to do a house call. You know darn well that if I just bring them the relay, they're not going to test it. They're going to say, oh, we're not equipped for that or some stupid shit just to make a bunch of money off of me. So, hang on. Okay. Now, see if I can make this hold somehow. I don't really know how Marty does it, but... I'm hoping this ain't going to fall, but I think it will. Oops. I'm not really doing this right. There, let's hope that works. I'm freezing my hands off right now. All for your entertainment and pleasure, folks. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Don't worry, I'm not abandoning you. I'm just closing the tailgate on my stupid thing. Now. Okay. I'm tired of talking this, so I'm just going to drag it along like uh, kingdom style. Grab it by the tail. I know I... I figured that was happen. Hang on, folks. Alright, I figured that would happen as soon as I knocked it. See, I'm grabbing it by the tail, kingdom style. This is crazy. Stupid thing doesn't want me to zoom out, so I gotta hold it at arm's length practically. Stupid camera. It never did that before. Now it refuses. It says uh, in this mode, zoom is not uh, functioning. Anyway, who gives a shit, right? Main thing is that you guys are here and I'm here and everyone's doing great and finally springs on its way. Folks, I'm so happy I'm going to be back to picking up scraps and stuff again. Because winter's hard on me. I got trouble getting out there. And my big trailer was kind of stuck in the ice. 
So now the past two days, it pretty much thawed out, although tonight's going to be really cold. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I did a few things today, picked up a few scraps. And uh, I guess if it's warm out next day or two, I'm going to cut the tin off the size of those washers and dryers. Because I need it for my big trailer. I'm closing it in, like I said a few minutes ago when I was outside. Oh, maybe I should stop rocking. That's making everyone dizzy, isn't it? Anyway, so I just basically wanted to ask you to share, comment, tell all your friends about me. You know, it'd be nice to have this channel grow a little bit after, you know, it's been a couple of years. But I guess I'm not as entertaining as some of the others. I, I, I don't know. I just like to get comments, which I rarely do. Anyway, so that's it. You guys have fun now. Bye.